and welcome. Well, here we are. We're on the road. I absolutely can't believe it. <laughs> Everything's working. We're moving along. And um, I'm adding this commentary afterwards, but it's, I just can't convey how awesome it is to be riding this bike along. I only had a couple of miles on the Meteor before I sort of ripped into it. So I didn't get used to what it was like at all. But I can really see why people love these bikes. Because it's just so nice. Just trucking along. You can see I'm just doing sort of 45, 50 miles an hour. And it's quite, you can't see it in the picture. This is quite uphill. We're really climbing up. I've got my good wife to record drive by. This is called Keyhole Corner. It's not just a hairpin, it's, it's actually, you have to tip left before you can go in and you come all the way round. So it's more than a hairpin, it's almost like going round a circle. And we have these kinds of roads so we can climb out of the valley. And this is the Ogmore Valley in South Wales. And we're climbing up to what's called the Bulk, which is Welsh for pass. And we're going to cross from this valley into the next one. So this valley kind of reaches down for miles and miles and miles. And this is called the head of the valley. And to get out of it, they built this road in the 20s during the depression. All the unemployed men sort of carved this road out of the rock. And you climb and you climb and you climb up and you're really high up now. The weather's quite bitter. It's really cold and you get some really bad weather. But once you get up to the top, you sort of come round this corner and you've got all the next valley laid out before you. Everyone brings their bikes up here. Well, you can see why. Or they just come up for a Sunday drive. So there we are, there's the bulk of the pass. Up to the right there, that's the Rhonda Valley, where I live. But not that way today. We're going to turn left and go down a different valley. So we're still climbing upwards. <laughs> but the bike is really good. I know I'm talking about the road, but the bike, it's so good. It's so stable. Usually some bikes are fidgety and they fidget around. But really, you only just have to think where you want it to go. And the tyres don't seem to have made much of a difference. They're not noisy or rough. You get a bit of a droning sound, sort of between 15 to 20 miles an hour. But that seems to pass. And uh, as you can see, there's a lot of wind noise. I wasn't set up for recording the riding noise, so I'll have to get something to sort that out. So I've got to talk over the top. But as you can see, there's a really, <laughs> really big drop on the right, which tends to temper how fast you ride or drive. Someone getting a selfie there, right on the edge. So you don't want to go over the edge. But we're right on the top now. And this was a beautiful autumn day. A little bit of downhill now. I think we might see 60 miles an hour there. I'm always very careful here because this corner ends with a big gravel patch always. I can tell it's windy because uh, that's where they build windmills. didn't take long to get used to the seating position. Obviously, my legs are forward, and I'm also leaning forward because of the lower bars, which I was a bit worried about because I didn't know how comfortable that would be. But it really is a nice place to sit. It's very relaxing. Seat's very comfortable. Everything's very comfortable, in fact. 
So the top of this valley, we've got another hairpin. There's a lot of hairpins. So again, this valley will go down, 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 all the way to the sea. So it's about 20 miles to Swansea in the distance there, down at the sea. And this is a fabulous road, the Bulk Road. Very dangerous. Very dangerous. It's easy to take it for granted, even after riding it for sort of 25 years. It can still catch me out, and it does catch me out just up here. It didn't even used to have that barrier and that used to slow you down really because <laughs> there was no second chances in a car and you can see someone's gone over there and it's easy to get caught up in the riding especially as it's downhill and then there'll be a really savage corner and of course because of the valley you get very dry bits of road and then in the shade here it's very wet so you've got to be so careful see i made a right mess of those two corners we call that 50 pence a corner because in the uk we've got a coin a 50 pence coin and instead of round it's made up of little corners so when you do a bad job of going around a corner and take little bites out of it, we call that 50 pence in a corner. So you can see I've slowed down now a bit. <laughs> so I don't want to get caught out again. The only thing that really stands out at the moment about the riding is the gear shift is incredibly wobbly. I mean, we knew it was wobbly, but it feels like I'm don't know, stirring a bucket of water. I can only tell I've changed gear because I let the clutch out and it's in a different gear. It's, but well, you can't really feel what's going on with my foot at all. I might change the angle of the pedal. Now I don't want to go down to Swansea. That's a lovely ride. We'll do that one day. Let's go back up, because the corner's the fun bits. The bike is so, feels so dependable. And this 50 mile an hour speed, it just seems to be really comfortable. I could probably make it go faster, but at this 50 miles an hour, everything just feels fantastic. And the big thing, the big, what I really enjoyed about this ride, and I really enjoyed it, is I'm not following a car. If I was on a powerful motorbike, Somehow I'd already be along this road and I'd be behind a car following it, not enjoying myself. But the speed these bikes go at, it's like it's your road. I mean, I don't think there's anyone following me. Oh, there isn't. That's part of I love the noise. They're like, it's not loud at all. road as soon as we got the tires but I didn't want to get it dirty so all in all very very happy very happy it's even better it's even better than I hoped